My name is Frances, and I live in Henderson. And of course, we heard about Dr. Sir, Dr. Uh, Rutledge from our uh, PCP. I went to all the seminars with Don and supported him. And then a year later, I decided to have the surgery because I had really bad asthma. And my lung specialist did not want me to have this surgery because he was a little bit afraid of it. Remember that? But my, P, uh, my PCP called him and had a lengthy conversation with him Didn't and told him I would be <laughs> fine and that I could go and have the surgery. Well, I can't wait till I go back to the lung specialist to let him see how great I am before the surgery. He had me walking around his office on a leash, checking my oxygen level and everything. And of course, the uh, anesthesiologist knew exactly what to do when he came in. He made me feel really at ease. I, didn't, I wasn't worried about the surgery because I thought I need it, I'm going to be better, I'll feel better, and I have to have this. So anyway, I'm so thankful I had it because it feels so good to go somewhere and order something to eat, and you can't eat it all. You don't even want it. You take two or three bites of it and you say, this is all I can handle. Now, I have stayed with soups an awfully lot because it seems the food that I have that's really watery, I get along better with than I do the more solid foods. So hopefully after six months. But this, I remember Dr. Rutledge saying in so many of the seminars that I went with Don, he'd always say, oh, we have to do these reversals because people are losing too much weight. And I thought to myself, this man is out of his mind. All they'd have to do is eat cookies, candy, ice cream, <laughs> cakes, all the carbohydrates they can eat. But then after the surgery, I saw he was right <laughs> because I can't, sweets, I don't even want most of the time. I can't even stand it. I might take a bite of something that looks good or something I like, and after that I thought, I mean, I feel full. I can't handle it anymore. And that makes me feel really good that I don't like sweets anymore. And really, I don't like breads that much anymore. I hardly can touch that at times. So for me, it's been wonderful. I just don't feel that hunger like I did. But I do feel, I can tell, when I do need a little something to eat because I kind of get really nervous, something probably like you were before, and I can start getting a little bit shaky if I don't get something to eat. But see, everybody's different, and it's going to work differently, but I wouldn't take anything for having this surgery. So it, Dr. Rutledge did a great job. Can I ask you a couple questions? Surely. Now, you remember, we went through this, uh, the big scary preparation with your pulmonologist, and you needed... Uh, the lung scan and the oh yeah I had all of that the, right remember all that stuff and he said I'm not sure it's safe for you to have surgery right and, and then we were trying to schedule her and and I said well I can't go if the pulmonologist says it's too dangerous and but you made it through okay yeah it it was fine and see the surgery only lasted 25 minutes or 24 minutes Don said and uh, I haven't had a breathing problem at all since as a matter of fact. With, when you have asthma, and those of you, if anyone has it, knows that when you get out in the really heat of summer that you can start having breathing problems. This summer I haven't had a problem at all. I do take Singulair, I do take Advair, but with that I haven't had a problem at all. And we have had some hot days, those of you that live here, especially in July, we really had some hot days here, and that's why my PCP keeps asking me. He's been monitoring me very carefully because I'm the first older patient he's ever had to do this surgery. And I think there are some things, you know, that he's very concerned about because he, he thinks, I don't know, you know, I just want to check and make sure she's okay, right. which he does. And he... I've had a lot of blood work, yes, he's very happy. And what and, about, so before surgery, if you would walk around, you would have some shortness of breath? Uh, and in, uh, yes, in that uh, that heat especially. And when I get out of the car, it was like, <sighs> you know, to get where I was going. And now? 
it's fine. I haven't had a problem at all with it. And I kept telling him, the pulmonologist, I said, if I have this surgery, I will be fine. I thought, I know, I know myself. I, I remember you told me, and Don told me, and I thought, yes, ma'am, yes, yes, ma'am. Good. But it did, so I'm really happy with the surgery. I wouldn't trade not I wouldn't trade not having it done. Even though I have to be monitored, yes. How much weight have you lost? Fifty pounds. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so Don, any comments?